dramatic turn of events, the U.S. Coast Guard finds itself facing a major challenge in the South China Sea. Illegal fishing vessels from China are openly challenging their authority, but the U.S. Coast Guard is not backing down. Join us as we dive into this gripping confrontation, where the waters of the SCS become a battleground for justice and maritime security. The South China Sea, a vital region known for its rich marine resources, has become a hopt of illegal fishing activities. Various nations claim sovereignty over these waters, leading to territorial disputes and conflicts. Enter China's illegal fishing vessels, blatantly challenging international maritime laws and exploiting the marine resources of the South China Sea. This brazen act has caught the attention of the U.S. Coast Guard, triggering a high-stakes confrontation. As tensions escalate, the U.S. Coast Guard takes swift action to protect the marine ecosystem and enforce maritime laws. Their mission, to intercept and deter these illegal fishing vessels before they cause irreparable damage to the fragile marine environment. Warning shots are fired, a clear signal for the illegal vessels to halt their unlawful activities. The U.S. Coast Guard issues a stern warning, urging them to retreat peacefully. However, this warning falls on deaf ears, and the situation intensifies. With diplomacy failing, the U.S. Coast Guard showcases its might and determination. They summon additional vessels, aircraft, and cutting-edge technology to surround and immobilize the illegal fishing fleet. This summer, as China fired missiles into the sea off Taiwan to protest House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the island, a much different kind of geopolitical standoff was taking shape in another corner of the Pacific Ocean. Thousands of miles away, a heavily armed U.S. Coast Guard cutter sailed up to a fleet of a few hundred Chinese squid fishing boats, not far from Ecuador's Galapagos Islands. Its mission, inspect the vessels for any signs of illegal, unreported or unregulated fishing. Boarding ships on the high seas is a perfectly legal if little used tool available to any sea power as part of the collective effort to protect the ocean's threatened fish stocks. But in this case, the Chinese captains of several fishing boats did something unexpected. Three vessels sped away, one turning aggressively 90 degrees toward the Coast Guard Cutter James, forcing the American vessel to take evasive action to avoid being rammed. For the most part, they wanted to avoid us said Coast Guard Lieutenant Hunter Stowes, the highest-ranking law enforcement officer on the James. But we were able to maneuver effectively so that we were safe the entire time. Still, the high seas confrontation represented a potentially dangerous breach of international maritime protocol, one the U.S. sees as a troubling precedent since it happened on the Coast Guard's first-ever mission to counter illegal fishing in the Eastern Pacific. The Associated Press reconstructed details of the never-before-reported incident from the Coast Guard and six U.S. non-military officials who spoke of the operation in greater detail but requested anonymity to avoid jeopardizing a multilateral process seeking to force China to sanction the vessels. While diplomats in China accused the Americans of acting improperly, they didn't provide their own detailed account. The Coast Guard's unprecedented voyage was prompted by growing alarm from activists and governments in Latin America over the activities of China's distant water fishing fleet, the world's largest. Since 2009, the number of Chinese flight vessels spotted fishing in the South Pacific, sometimes for months at a time, has surged eightfold to 476 last year. Meanwhile, the size of its squid catch has grown from 70,000 tons to 422,000, a level of fishing that some scientists fear is unsustainable even for a resilient species. As revealed in an AP Univision investigation last year, the Chinese flotilla includes some of the seafood industry's worst offenders, with long records of labor abuse, illegal fishing and violations of maritime law. But they're being drawn to the open ocean around the Americas, where the U.S. has long dominated after depleting fish stocks closer to home and fueled by an increasingly fierce race between the two superpowers to secure access to the world's dwindling natural resources. The illegal fishing patrol, which took place over 10 days in August, was initially kept quiet. The Coast Guard, 
More than a month later, released a brief statement celebrating the mission along with photos from two ships it did manage to successfully board. But it made no mention of the three that ran away or gave any clue to the vessel's nationality, a posture the Coast Guard maintained in its conversations with the AP. The behavior of the United States is unsafe, opaque, and unprofessional. The Foreign Ministry said in a statement to the AP, we demand that the U.S. side stop its dangerous and erroneous inspection activities. The Coast Guard disputes that assertion, saying all members of the boarding team, in addition to being vaccinated, were wearing masks, gloves, and long sleeves. The Biden administration also reported possible violations discovered on the two boats it did inspect to the South Pacific Regional Fisheries Management Organization, or ISPRFMO, a group of 16 members including China and the U.S. charged with ensuring sustainable fishing in 53 million square kilometers of ocean. One of the most serious accusations is against the Yongang-3, a refrigerated cargo vessel used to transport fish back to China so that smaller vessels can stay on the water for longer periods. The vessel was among those that ran from the Coast Guard patrol disobeying direct orders to cooperate from maritime authorities in Panama, to which the vessel was flagged. To obscure activities, some vessels, especially refrigerated cargo vessels, often fly under other flags but are named, managed, and docked in China. The Coast Guard's advanced equipment and tactical expertise are on full display, sending a strong message that they will not tolerate any threat to maritime security and environmental preservation. Facing overwhelming opposition, the illegal fishing vessels now have a choice to make. Heed the U.S. Coast Guard's demand to withdraw or face severe consequences. But time is running out, and the U.S. Coast Guard will not wait indefinitely. As the standoff continues, tensions reach a boiling point. In a gripping climax, the illegal fishing vessels make a desperate attempt to break through the Coast Guard's defense line. The Coast Guard responds with precision and unwavering determination. They take decisive action to neutralize the threat and protect the marine sanctuary. In the end, the U.S. Coast Guard successfully defends the waters of the South China Sea, upholding international maritime laws and safeguarding the marine ecosystem from further exploitation. This confrontation serves as a powerful reminder that protecting our oceans requires unity, cooperation, and a commitment to environmental stewardship. Let us continue to support the efforts of those defending our seas for future generations. If you found this video informative, please like and share it to raise awareness about the importance of maritime security and marine conservation. Subscribe to our channel for more compelling content and stay tuned for future updates on global affairs. Thank you for watching. Together, Let's ensure a safer and more sustainable future for our oceans and the diverse life they hold.